just like your favorite player. Your favorite player is your favorite player. It's not your favorite player because somebody tells you it's your favorite player. They're not your favorite player because someone said it's okay for them to be your favorite player. It doesn't matter who tells you this should or shouldn't be your favorite player. It doesn't matter about anything else. It doesn't. That's your favorite player because for whatever reason you got to that or for whatever reason you got to them being your favorite player, that is how it ended up. And they are your favorite player for said reasons, reasons that you only know, reasons that you choose to share if you do, if you don't, that can't be taken away. That can't be voted out. That can't be voted in. That can't be ostracized. That can't be uh, vilified. You don't need that extra validation. You don't need people to say that it's okay to have this person as your favorite player. It's your favorite player because it's your favorite player. And the Barry Bonds and Roger Clement thing is like the favorite player. And if you need more help to understand, it's like your favorite blankie. It's like your favorite blankie. Growing up when you were smaller, when you needed that comfort, where did you go? You went to that blankie. That blankie was always there. That blankie was tried and true. Felt a little social anxiety, felt a little bad, needed something to calm your nerves, needed something for you to go to sleep, needed something to get you out of your present mood, whether it's good or bad. More likely it was bad or indifferent. That blankie was there. You didn't need anybody else to tell you to go grab the blank. You didn't need anybody else to tell you to do these things. It is what you did because it is what made you feel comfort. I don't need anybody to tell me that Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens aren't Hall of Famers. That's okay. They aren't Hall of Famers to you. They might not be Hall of Famers by the peer and other definition of Hall of Famers. But to me, in my world, they're Hall of Famers. It's like my favorite blankie. Them being Hall of Famers to me, that brings me comfort. That brings me comfort. Everything else is everything else. I'm not here to give an argument because I've given an argument. I've yelled to the rooftops, to the mountaintops, because no matter how complicit we all were during that era, we can't make it disappear. We can't make that era disappear and pretend that it didn't happen. We can't close our eyes and say we didn't see what we saw. But yet, 